This is Greg Fowler for Online London, and I'm with Michael Concannon, who's a candidate for election in Ward 13. Welcome. Thank you. If elected, how many hours per week on average do you expect that you'll spend working in your elected capacity? Oh, well, given what I normally do, I imagine somewhere, I imagine 50 to 60 a week. Do you think ward councillors are currently paid enough for the amount of work that they'll be doing during the next term of city council? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Some of them, likely, some not. I was reading an article where places like Hamilton are getting almost twice as much. London's governance model is undergoing significant change, including elimination of the Board of Control. Do you think that this will increase the necessity for ward councillors to inform themselves about issues outside of their own ward boundaries? Uh, definitely. I think uh, that we should be concerned about the whole city of London, not just our wards. Do you live within the geographical boundaries of the electoral area in which you are contesting this election? Oh, yes. How many of your post-teenage years have you lived in London? Uh, I've lived in London all my life. I grew up in the West End. Uh, I went to school at Central, right near Central City Hall there. So, Have you attended any standing committee meetings over the last four years? Uh, no, I was up at City Hall on a couple of subcommittees that were volunteer work. Have you attended any Board of Control meetings over the last four years? Uh, no. Are you familiar with the Municipal Act and the Municipal Councillor's Guide? Ah, uh, yes. The Strengthening Neighborhoods Task Force recommended development of a neighborhood matching fund type program for large and small community projects, other than for celebrations and events. Do you support that recommendation? Uh, I'll pass it on. I'm not familiar with it. Do you support development of a community program to fund the creation of public art in public places? Uh, no. Should the City of London and its boards and commissions embrace the concept of making their data open and accessible to everyone as often as possible? and adopting open standards for that data. Yes, definitely. When existing software applications have to be replaced, or when software licenses have to be renewed, should the city adopt the use of open source software whenever that's possible? I'm going to pass it on. Is the city's communication department being given enough resources, money and personnel, to properly maintain the city website and to inform citizens in a timely fashion. Uh, I'm going to pass it on to. Should citizens be able to subscribe to subject specific RSS feeds from City Hall in order to stay informed? Yes. Should citizens be able to download the agendas of upcoming public meetings, including advisory committee meetings, at least a week in advance? Yes, definitely. Despite the requirement of the Municipal Act that all City Hall meetings be public except for specific reasons, it's been argued that they most often are not because of the inability of the public to hear what's being said. Do you support the adoption of a policy which mandates the use of microphones in all public meetings at City Hall? Yes. Do you think that the City of London ought to be webcasting all of its public meetings? Uh, yes, I think it would be a good idea. Do you think all of the City's boards and commissions ought to be webcasting all of their public meetings? Definitely. Do you think that the chairpersons of all public meetings at City Hall ought to have to announce motions and amendments to motions and the number of votes for and against those motions so that the public can understand what's taking place? Um, not really. I think that would take up a lot of time. Should London hire an Auditor General? I'm going to pass on that one. Should homeowners have to pay a percentage of the cost for the repair of damage to underground infrastructure on their own property if it's been caused by city-owned trees? No. Do you agree with the place-making concept of neighborhood gateways? Uh, pass on. Should there be increased user representation on the London Transit Commission? Yes. 
if the City of London is going to provide venture capital to businesses, should the city be guaranteed a return on its investment in the event that those businesses become profitable? Yes. Should people be allowed to naturalize their lawns? I'm going to pass. Are London's pedestrians and pedestrian issues sufficiently represented at City Hall? Definitely not. The traffic and parking bylaw prohibits people from using any sidewalk for any purpose other than pedestrian traffic, except as specifically permitted. Should downtown patios, which consume most of the width of the public sidewalk, be permitted? No. When closure of a public sidewalk for construction purposes takes place, what steps should be required to ensure that pedestrians are not forced out onto the roadway in a manner which puts them at risk? I want to pass on that one. Is the warranted sidewalk program sufficiently funded? No. Is the warranted walkway program sufficiently funded? I'm going to pass on that one. Old unlit streets are not lit unless there's a local improvement program application and cost sharing amongst owners. Do you agree with that policy? No. Do you think that special funding ought to be provided to London Police for the purchase of additional Speedwatch radar trailers and the cost of having the auxiliary police section deploy them on a frequent basis? No. Should the city be spending as much as it is per year from the federal gas tax to construct on-road bike lanes in London? No. Should bicycles be allowed on public sidewalks? Yes. Should persons in motorized wheelchairs and other mobility devices that are on the public sidewalk be obliged to yield for pedestrians? I'm going to pass on that one. Should the City of London install more bike racks? Yes. Do you think that theft of bikes is an important issue? I think it's not being addressed properly. Do you have any suggestions about what might be done to combat the problem? Uh, yes, I think we should go back to years ago when you had to license your bike for a small fee at City Hall. The serial number was recorded and the make of the bike, the color, so if it was stolen and tossed away someplace or something, all the information was right there. Is the city currently spending enough money to promote its web-based ride match service? Pass. Should there be dedicated and discounted carpool parking spaces on downtown streets and in city-owned lots? Yes. Should every signalized London intersection provide advanced left turns? No. Does the City of London currently provide sufficient funding for the Community Gardens program? No. Should all dogs have to be muzzled when they're not on their owner's property? Pass. Should dogs be allowed at community events? No. Do you think that people ought to be able to raise chickens in their backyards? Definitely not. <laughs> that concludes the questions and answers. Thank you.